Hi, everybody. Hold on, I'm going to check my sound and make sure everything's good. Finding me live. Okay, there we are. But I don't have any sound, I don't hear me. All right, can I hear myself? No sound. Um, let me see. I don't know why I don't have no sound. Where is my sound? I don't know why I don't have no Here sound. Here it is. Where is my sound? Okay, now I don't know why I don't have no sound. Where is my sound? Okay, now I don't know why. All right. Okay, let me turn that off and get it out of our way. Let's see. That's on the floor. Okay, I want to apologize for this morning. Um, we didn't do so well. Um, I was having technical problems. Hopefully, I don't have the problems again. And I'm going to kind of go over some of the things that I talked about that was kind of muffled and you couldn't really hear. So I'm hoping you hear better this time. Um, I'm creating cards with Debbie. And uh, my host code is gone. Um, all right. Creating cards with Debbie. And you can shop with me in my store at www.debbiefoster.stampinup.net and that's also in the description of the video here and I've lost my banners for some reason um, I don't know where they went and I've also lost my host code I am so unorganized today I guess Things just aren't working out right. Okay, if you need to contact me, you can email me at creatingwithdebbie179 at gmail.com. And as you can see, we've got a brand new glass plate for our work surface. And you can earn this free if you sign up for your starter kit. And the starter kit is $99. You choose $125 worth of products. And you can get this glass mat free. And it also comes with this a little acrylic pad that you can keep your stamping spots in. Uh, you can mix your color, ink colors. You can dump out beads or whatever and be able to pick them up easily and not have them flying all over the place. Uh, lots of uses for that. And it also comes with a, a real thin chamois. It's sort of like our Simply chamois, but it's quite a bit thinner. And all you do is you just wet it with water, rake it out real good, and you just clean your surface off with that with a little bit of water and this. And I need to get mine wet. It's already drying out on me. But we're going to use our glass mat today to work on. And like I said, you can get the Stamping Glass Mat Studio. It's a crafter's dream. The heavy-duty glass mat comes printed with the ruler on all four sides. Um, two sides are imperial measurements, and the other two sides are the metrics. And like I said, um, you can sign up for your starter kit, $99.00. Choose $125 worth of product of your choice, and you can add on the Stampin' Mat 
as your free gift. Or if you don't want the stamping mat, you can um, get $30 extra in products. So instead of $125, you'd have $155 worth. So if you have any questions, just private message me or email me, and I'll be happy to fill in all the details with you. Oh, here's my December host code. So if your order from me out of my store is less than $150, you want to use the December host code, which is B-K-H-E-X-N-K-Z. So again, B-K-H-E-X-N-K-Z. But if your order is over $150, don't use that code because you'll get uh, stamping rewards. All right. Um, I'm not going to go through all the items that I did this morning because I'm not sure this is going to turn out that well. So I'm going to start out. Um, I'm going to go back to making our box for our, our cards. And we'll do the box first and then I'll come back and we'll do the card. Um, I chose to do uh, thank you cards because uh, Christmas time presents, uh, we need to send out thank you cards to the people that we receive gifts from. I know that's an old thing that we used to do, but I think it's nice to bring it back into play again. I'm just getting my thing situated here. So this is, I'm going to start out with the base of the box, which would be the bottom of the box. And we need our cardstock. This is our just our typical cardstock, eight and a half by 11. And we're going to cut that down to um, eight and a half, which is the width, and nine and seven eighths is the length. So we're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven eighths is right there. So we're going to cut that off. And I'll save this little scrap paper for something later. You know, we are paper hoarders. And then we're going to turn that, which is already at eight and a half, so we don't have to do that. So we're going to score that. So move our cutting blade out of the way, and we're going to score at one inch and two inch on all four sides. And I need to turn on some lights here. There we go. So I'm going to do the one inch first. And like I was saying earlier in my video, which you probably couldn't understand, I'm going to kind of be out of commission here um, for a few weeks. I'm having shoulder surgery, well, shoulder replacement surgery on the 28th of December, uh, three days after Christmas. <laughs> okay, and then two inch. So it's on my right arm, I'm not gonna be able to do too much crafting for a while. So I'm gonna try to record some videos ahead of time if I'm able, uh, if, the, if I get all the technical bugs worked out here. And let me, Back to my comments. Hi, Becky. Can you hear me okay? Oh, you seen the video with that I did with Jojo? Yeah, she is adorable. Now, if we just get past the puppy stage, <laughs> you know, all that potty training and chewing on things. Uh, but we'll get through it. We just kind of forgot what it was all like. Okay, you can hear me. Good. Yeah, my video earlier that I did. I was so frustrated with it. it. It wasn't doing what it's supposed to do. It was a lot of echoing and stuff. So I wanted to start all over. Oh, you just got two new kittens. Oh, I like kitty cats too. We have our share. We've got four. And so, yeah, and Jojo chases them all over the house. <laughs> She's got them terrorized. <laughs> and so what are their names? Okay, and our second... Um, piece of cardstock is going to be seven and one sixteenth inch wide. So one sixteenth is right there. Make sure I read that right. Yeah, seven and one sixteenth. I'm going to cut off that edge. And 
then we're going to turn it and we're going to have it at 8 and 7 sixteenths. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 right there. And cut that off and save that for later. We're going to get our cutting blade out of the way and we're going to do some scoring. And this is going to be at 5 eighths. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Five right there. So just five eighths. <laughs> um, I'm reading your comment about your daughter having a new puppy and the kitties didn't like that very well. Mo and Cheddar. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> cute names. Yeah. Mm. Ours is Jojo for short, but her real name is um, Jolene Sophia. We call her Jojo. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just paying attention where my five eighths is here so I don't miss it. I think I'm down to my last two Knight and Navy card stocks. I'm going to have to put that on my order. So I can't mess up today. I gotta pay attention. It's one, two, three, five, eighths. Oh, short. Mo is short for Molina. Molina. Oh, that is cute. Mo. <laughs> Are they a special breed at all? Okay, and then we want to go one and a fourth. And all four sides. Scoring. One and a fourth. I got them from rescue. That's good. Yeah. Are they siblings to each other? Okay, we got that. One and a fourth and five eighths on each side. So let's take our paper camera and get that put out of the way. Now the larger one is your bottom and then the smaller one is the top. So we're going to start out with the bottom and I'm going to grab my, where did I put it? My piercing mat so I can kind of muffle the sound of the glass when I'm cutting these down or not cutting them down, but folding my score lines and burnishing them. Uh, they have the same father, but different mothers. Oh, no, that's not quite long enough. That's not going to work. Check that idea. So let's grab our bone folder. And I apologize for maybe the noise that this is going to make. I'm trying to do it lightly so it's not so noisy. We're going to score all of our score lines. We're going to burnish them, I should say. How old are they, Becky? Jojo is 10 weeks. Yeah, she was born October 5th, which is the day after our youngest daughter's birthday. So I guess they can celebrate their birthdays together. <laughs> okay. Okay, we got those all done. Let's do our, our lid. Get that all burnished. Trying to do this quietly because I know my microphone picks up a lot of sound, so I don't want to hurt your ears. 
They were both born June 5th. Oh, six weeks old. Aw. I love that stage of kittens. Ours are up in age. Um, I think Oliver, he is um, maybe nine. And then Tabby is the next one. I think she's eight. And then we've got Cooter. He is, uh, I'm going to say maybe four. And then our other cat is Froggy. And she was an outside cat. And I finally brought her in because she's getting up in age. I'm not really certain how old she is. Okay, so we're going to cut down to our second score line. And both of these. And then I'm going to cut out this corner. So I'm going to angle it a little bit so I have a little angle there. It makes it easier for it to fold it. And then I'm going to cut off this little tab of that one. And I'm going to angle this. And we're going to do the same on this side. And cut out this edge, those two, and snip off half of that. And I want to angle cut these. And I'm going to angle cut our little tabs there. And the same with this side. Okay, there are ornery. They haven't got in the tree yet. Oh, yeah. We have always had cats. They are so easy to take care of. They are funny to watch playing, too. Yeah, that's true. They are easier to take care of, easier to housebreak, and <laughs> all that stuff. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do the same to this side. We didn't put our tree up this year because with my surgery just three days after, I didn't want my husband to be stuck taking it all down and putting it away. So I said, we just won't even put a tree up this year. We're not going to be home for Christmas anyway. We're going to my brother's house. So I'm sure he'll have his tree up. Right. I'm sure if we had a tree up that Jojo would be into it because she's into everything right now. She's at that stage. She's got to check out everything. <laughs> I'm just angling all these little tabs. And I think I've got them all in this one. So let's do the bottom of the box, the base. And we're going to do the same with that. We're going to do each end again on that. The same as we did the lid. Just that they're a little bit bigger. And we're going to cut out this outside edge. Cut off that flap there at the score line and again we're going to angle cut these and the tabs and again over here i'm probably better off for the bigger scissors but i don't want to take the time to switch right now so we'll just use the paper snips Yeah, I didn't quite cut all the way. There we go. Cut that flap off. And I'm going to angle cut that a little bit. And this one. Did we do those? We did those. Okay. Make sure I cut the right side here. 
You want opposite sides. You don't want them next to each other doing this. Okay. And again, we're going to angle cut that. Angle cut the tabs. Oh, I'm so sorry about losing your dog. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you watched the video. I said that we had lost our cookie after 10 years. She passed away. She was she had a lot of health issues, so we had to um, have her put down because she was too sick to get over it. So, But that was a big loss to us. She was our baby. And she's 10 years old. So the house was so empty, we had to fill that void, um, especially for my husband. He was really close to her. Well, we both were, but he was probably more so than I was. Yeah, it's just hard. Okay, so we're going to take our bottom. And oh, she was 11, yeah. We know what it's like, yeah. So we're going to take our liquid glue. I've got a brand new bottle here today. And we're going to put glue just on our tabs. And I'm just going to do it a thin line so it attaches faster. Because the more glue you use, the longer it takes. And I got the wrong bottle. I wonder it's not coming out. That's my empty one. <laughs> Okay, so I'm trying to get out just a little bit of glue. A little bit goes a long ways, and I got a little bit too much there. And we're just going to fold over these tabs, line them up. And I'm just going to hold that there for a moment to make sure it's going to hold there. Let it stuck. And then we're going to the other side. Oops. All right, and we're going to put some on these tabs. The same. Oops, a little bit too much there. And do the same. Put those together. Sometimes it takes a little bit for the glue to attach, especially if it's a little bit too much there. They sure do, Becky. There are fur kids. <laughs> okay, that's the old bear. And I'm going to take these flaps and I'm going to put glue on all of those. Okay. Paper's a little stiff here. It's just going to help reinforce the bottom of your box. So it's not so flimsy. And because it's cold outside today, my glue's taken longer to attach itself there. All right. You could use tear and tape too, it might be faster. But I'm being lazy today. And again on this one. Hold that 
a second and make sure it's glued down there. So here's our base of our card box. Let's work on the top. And we're going to do that the same way. We're going to put glue on the tabs. And I think I'm going to do all four at the same time and see how that goes. I might regret it. Okay, and again, we're going to bring our sides over and meet. And yeah, my husband is outside working a little bit this morning. He said he came back in. It was too cold out there. I don't think it's temperature wise, but I think it's the wind. It's pretty chilly. It's been that way the last two or three days. I know when I've gone out, it was kind of cool on the face. That was supposed to be like 60, I think, Christmas Day. All right, just holding that to make sure it's going to attach. And I'm going to do the same with my sides. I'm going to glue those down. Like I did the top or the bottom. And I'm thinking I maybe need to use a tear and tape. Let me switch to the tear and tape. That'd be faster. Got it right here. A small roll. It'll work. And put that down on there and we'll get it to attach a little faster maybe. Well, not tearing very well today. Well. I think I'm weak today. I can't even tear the tape here. And put this one back up and put some on there too. Right over the top of that wet glue. It'll be all right. Take your pick tool, which is right here, and I'll take those tear and tape backings off and stick this together. There. That's a little faster. Let's see, I kind of tore my tabs off, so I've got to put those back in there. I think I got a little rough with my cardstock. And two more sides here. And we'll have that done. And that one's a little longer, so we're going to push that inside. And. There. So there's our box top. And here's the real test to see if it's going to fit. There's some finagling there, it does. So there's our box. So let's decorate our box. I'm going to scooch my trash in the trash can before I have it all over and Jojo gets into it. Um, I didn't show you my original box. Um, this is my original box. And we're going to make some thank you cards to go with it. Uh, you could change it out. It could be birthday cards. Um, 
a mixture of different cards, birthday, thinking of you, sympathy. But I'm just going to do thank you cards today because it's that time of the year and we need thank you cards for our Christmas presents. Okay, so I'm going to decorate our box here and really have things ready here. So I'm going to probably struggle here. <laughs> but I'm using the paper is from the Countryside Inn, the 12 by 12 designer series paper. And that's number 161467. I have the extra packs here, so we need to close this side. I'm going to stick with the same as what I've got on the cards and everything. I'm going to keep it all the same. I'm thinking it's this one. Okay. And I need some white. I had my Christmas thing on earlier. I guess I'll put it back on. <laughs> Be a little festive here. I'm thinking. Uh, it's kind of small. I think I'm going to cut a new one. We've got our paper right here. I need it to be move things out of the way here a little bit. This is real stamping today. <laughs> Unprepared. So our basic white is going to be four and a fourth inches by five and five eighths inches. So let's do the five and five eighths. Right there. I'm just going to cut that in half, make it simple. And uh, by four and a fourth. So that's going to fit on top of our box lid. And then I want our designer series paper will be four and an eighth inch by five and a half inch. So I need to figure out if I want my box to sit this way if I want it to sit this way. My original one I've got going this way, but my cards are all, uh, is that portrait? Yeah, portrait. So I think I'm going to go with portrait. So I'm going to make sure that my foxes are standing up right here. And that's going to be four and an eighth inches. So right there. Bye. Five and a half. So I'm going to decide if I want the bottom half or the top half. Um, it doesn't really matter. They look pretty much the same. So let's go with this way. Five and a half. Cut that off. So there we have that. We can put our paper trimmer away again. And let's go ahead and glue those together. The back side's cute too. Either way, it's always hard to make a decision what side we want to use when both sides are pretty. And we're going to attach that. We're just going to have a small edge going all around. And it looks like it might be straight. And now we can attach that to the front of our box. And I'll make sure it stays on there. So I'm going to make sure I get the edges good. And center that on the top. Okay, it could work better if I had something in there because it's not pressing on there. It's sinking when I push on it. So we're going to turn it upside down, rub it a little bit. 
Okay. So we're going to set that aside and we're going to work on our cards to go in there. So let me get those out. I have our thick basic white, and this is five and a half inches by eight and a half inches, and then it's scored in the middle at four and a fourth inch. So let's go ahead and burnish that edge. These are really simple cards. They don't take long, and I've got a glue dot there or something. And I've cut our designer series paper, and this is, uh, I didn't write that down. <laughs> Uh, four and an eighth inches by five and three eighths inch. And that's just going to glue down to our card base. And put that down on our card. Make sure it's going in the right direction. We don't want our foxes upside down. And I need to slide that up some. And can I, can I? Yes, I can. Well, my fingers aren't working today. Okay, so that's our card front. And I've got a little glue on my fingers I'm rubbing off. And I have used our Smiley Shapes dies, which I still have those over here. Uh, I think I do. Well, anyway, it comes from the Smiley Shapes dies. And I've already stamped my thank you. And that came from the Good Feeling stamp set. Uh, it's got the large sentiments in there kind of like this this is in our annual catalog but i did the thank you out of there and i've already stamped that already so save a little time and i've also got a, a strip of designer series paper which is the opposite side of that i'm just going to turn that over and use the back side and that's one inch by four inches well four and an eighth inches one inch by four and an eighth inch. And I'm going to add our glue to the back of that. And we're just going to add that. Oh, not quite centered. It's kind of more towards the bottom. And we're going to put that across there. And then I'm going to take our thank you circle. And some glue on the back and just place that off to the left side on top of that little strip of designer series paper. And I've already made a double bow using our linen thread. So I'm going to go at the bottom here and I'm going to grab my mini glue dots if I can find them. They're hiding. And I'm going to take, my, take your pick tool and I'm going to take one off and I'm going to roll it in a tiny, tiny ball because I don't want it sticking out from underneath our linen thread. And just kind of spread it out a little bit to make it skinnier. And place our little bow, double bow, on top of there and it's sticking out a little bit. Um, yeah, that's good. Put our glue dots back in the box. And I'm going to bring out, these are the adhesive back sequence trio. It's got the three colors in there. It's got the pink and green and white. I can get them out of the package here. My fingers just aren't wanting to work today for some reason. <laughs> so I'm going to grab three of those and I'm going to place two on this little designer series paper and one there and one there and then my third one I'm going to put up in this area in the upper top left corner 
So see, very simple, just a little thank you. And let me trim those tails a little bit, a bit, a little bit long. So there's the card. And I left the inside blank because you want to write your little note in there for whatever you got to say thank you for. And then our envelopes. I've got a another designer series paper, and this one measures three inches by six inches. And we're just going to glue that to our flap of our envelope so it's not plain. We want it pretty too, just like our card in our box. So just put a little glue around our flap, envelope flap. And then we place that down on top of the flap. And then we're going to trim that even with the flap. So very simple to make a nice little gift. And you could use this any time of the year. It could be for a birthday or anything. You could give it as a gift to somebody. And I'm sure they'd love to have some homemade cards. So there's the card and there's the envelope matching, but I turned it to the back side that so matches this little strip instead. Okay. Put those in there and let me grab these all out of there and put those in there. I did six cards and six envelopes and they fit just fine in the box. So. And you still got a little bit of room. You could even do more. But I left a little space because sometimes if you want to add more embellishments, it's going to make it a little bit thicker. So this is six cards and six envelopes, and they fit into this box. Okay. And put those in there. Close the lid. All shut. Now, I didn't, I didn't decide on what ribbon I wanted to use. Uh, we've got blue. Let me see. I've got either our textured ribbon, the boho blue, which is the boho blue is in here. But then I was kind of thinking, I'm wondering, um, this is, is this boho blue? This is balmy blue. I don't know. I kind of like the sparkly too. Let me see which one you prefer. Let me put both of them up here so you can decide. I'll just do a small piece of that one. Let me get this back in the camera view. So which one do you think? You think this one, number one, or number two? I'll give you a moment to think about it. Number one. And number two. Number two? Yeah, I think so, too. This one's a little bit too sparkly for it. So let me get our ribbon out here. And I'm thinking, do I want it to go all the way around or just partially? The other one I did all the way around, so I guess I'll do all the way around. I'm not sure I can tie a, a bow very well. So. Oops. I want my ribbon spool. And let's see how many thumbs I got here today. I think I'm all twisted here. Off the floor. <laughs> you know how hard it is to tie bows on camera. <laughs> All right. Mm, let me cut off a length of this. Mm 
Well, it's not the best bow. I'd have to play with it for a little bit. But then I've got a little tag that I've stamped for you. And these are from the basic tags, dies. So I'm going to maybe use some linen thread. I forgot what to use to tie it with. I think I'll use a linen thread. And I thought I had one over here. This one's better. And I'm going to double that. I'm not even measuring. I'm just going to eyeball it. I guess it's probably, oh, seven inches. So I'm going to fold that over and put it through a little hole here. I've already done the enforcers and everything on it, so that's already done. And I'm going to flip it back up inside of that loop and pull it tight and I guess I'll just tie it to this ribbon here I guess I should have done it shorter but yeah, you get the idea of it I should have had my bow going this way it doesn't want to move and I'm going to play with that bow a little bit more and kind of make it look a little better so there's a nice little box of cards that you can give somebody for thank yous that they can get their thank you cards out or it could be birthday cards and our assortment of cards would be nice too as a gift so I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm not sure how long I've been on here now. Uh, I did do another card earlier. Um, which, where did I put it now? I did some watercoloring. I know the video is messed up, so you probably couldn't hear what I was saying. But I might do a pre-recorded one of that later today. If I get a chance, I'll redo it. So I'm glad you're able to be here, and I'm glad that everything's working out good right now. So I don't know what I did that was different, but so far, so good. So I want to thank you for being here. I want to wish you a merry, merry Christmas. And um, like I said, I don't know when I'll be back live, live again. Um, I'm going to try doing some pre-recorded videos beforehand so that I can maybe post a week apart or something when I'm normally supposed to be on. But I'm not sure that I'm going to get to very many of them if I do. Um, so just kind of watch and I'll, you should be able to get a notification of everything. So I want to say goodbye today and apologize for my earlier videos that were messed up. And until I see you again, thank you. Bye-bye.